Hey everybody, what's going on? Hope you guys are doing good. I am doing just great. And if you could see what's on my bench right now, yes, we're going to be talking about lights for your vehicle. And they are all not created equally. So with the roads converting from concrete to asphalt now, that black top, that black surface is really difficult to view the road, especially when it's raining outside. You have the um, halogen light bulbs they either come equipped from the factory on your vehicle and you have like a yellow beam that comes off of them and when it hits the street at night especially when it's raining it's really hard to see especially now with a lot of these led and some of the hid lights that these vehicles are having the oncoming traffic is basically kind of blinding you a little bit when you're driving down the road so what I ended up doing is I picked up a 2020 Saturn View, uh, sorry, 2020 Ford Escape. I still got that old Saturn in my mind. The Saturn, I ended up putting the HID bulbs in there, which I'll show you those in a minute. And they worked out really well. and didn't have any problems, any dark spots. The only problem with it is, is that after putting them inside the Saturn View, I did have to readjust the headlights a little bit so they weren't blinding oncoming traffic. I don't want to be that asshole who's blinding everybody as they're coming down the road towards me. With the Ford, uh, that was equipped with halogen bulbs. And right here are the halogen bulbs that come with the Ford. They're really not much of a big deal. These are the HB3s, and they are the 9005s. It's their 12 watt, 65, or 12 volt, 65 watt bulbs, which they do suck up some power. And these things do get really, really hot. One of the things you don't want to do is touch the actual glass on the bulb. The oils from your fingers can mess up the bulb and you can have problems later on because they get so hot. But these, this is the original equipment that came with the Ford. So my car has got what's called projection lenses on them. And I've kind of read up a little bit about how they work and stuff. They seem to be pretty cool, but trying to match up a set of either HIDs or LEDs for the projection system that is built into your headlight assembly is a little bit of a pain in the ass. And as you can kind of see here, I have some multiple boxes here that, um, well, like I said, not all lights are created equal. So what I ended up doing is I got a hole of some sellers. And one of the sellers uh, that I picked up these guys from, oh no, you know, these will work with projection lenses with no problem. You shouldn't have any dark spots or anything else. Well, they just want to sell their product. They're going to tell you that it's going to work. And the problem is, is that you do get dark spots. And what I mean dark spots is kind of like a shadowing in the light that is on the road to where you can't see anything. And it becomes a pain in the ass. You know, I thought these guys here were bad as far as projecting light and, and being able to see. But if you don't have the right LED bulbs or HID bulbs, of depending on the type of headlight assembly that you have with a projector, you're going to have problems. And it's, it's a pain in the ass. So what I got here is the seller is like, oh, yeah. What you have are the H11s, all right? Well, H11s, no, every time, you know, I look at my vehicle and both bulbs, high beams and low beams, are both the uh, 9005s. I don't have the H11s. This wasn't equipped from the factory with LED lights. So the seller's like, yeah, this is what you need. This is what I'm going to give you. So I picked them up, and as you can see, they're still in the box. I have not used them because this plug is not the same as what the 9 005s are. As you can see that they are, the prongs are spaced out more on the 9005 compared to the H11s. So, back in the box they go. I'm sure I could find somebody who does use H11s on their vehicle and not give it to them, whatever. So, back to the seller again. We're talking. He's like, oh, no, no, no. You know, you, these are the H, the H8s. Okay. H8, H9, H11. It says it right here on the fucking box. These will work in your vehicle. You shouldn't have no problems with them. And it's like, okay. Now, these come with, and so do the other ones. They come with, with these fucking 
these gloves so you don't touch the ball and stuff. So I'm looking at him, looking at him, looking at him. It's like, all right, again, the spacing is much closer between the prongs. So it's like, yeah, I can't use these. How many times am I going to tell you that these are not going to work with my vehicle? And I told the guy that I have the halogen lights that were stock with the car. So these won't work. So I decided to say, okay, fuck you to the seller, and I stopped buying from him. Now these, I'll probably give them away to whoever, you know, friend of mine or whatever wants them. So what I ended up doing is I ended up picking up the HID system for the Ford. So I picked up this kit here. Now this is the HID system. You got the anti-flicker and everything else. Keeps the computer of the vehicle for your headlights so you have no warning uh, lights on your dashboard about your lights being messed up. And this is the bulb not a big deal worked out pretty good the only problem is that damn projector that is on the headlight assembly it was restricting some of the light and i was getting dark spots again so i'm like okay this is bullshit i i'm, I'm nobody can sit there and tell you that these work for this and guarantee it and say yeah so because I plugged them in, because I used them, well, they're a little bit of a burn in on the bulb itself, so that shortens the lifespan. Unless these went completely out, and I can use the warranty on them, but I want to send them back. You know, they won't do it. So I was like, okay, fine. So then I looked into another set of LEDs. So I picked up this set. Now this set's kind of nice. It said also said that it works with the projection. It also has a separate mount on them to where when you mount them, you can get them to angle a certain way because they're supposed to be vertical like this. So your beam is coming off this way and this way off of the light itself. And then this has the built-in for the computer to make sure that, you know, you're not going to get any faulty signals or warning lights or whatever on your dashboard. Again, lots of dark. This was really bad. These were terrible. And I could also hear the fan going when I shut off the car and the headlights will go off. You could hear the fan. So it's like, okay, this is going to be a pain in my ass. I know it's going to be. What am I going to find if I'm going to find the right thing? And is it going to work the way they say it's supposed to work? So I can put these guys in here. And also these, the plugs that are on these, both of them, the HID and the LED, are both 9005s for your main headlight. Also, so is your, so is the high beam. Now, right now, I found a set of, basically, it is this company, and I ended up ordering a set of high beams as well. So, the high beams work with no problems. They're both set at a, or the plug is a 9005, but right now, I'm using them as my main headlights, and they actually work pretty damn nice. But I kind of don't think that you really should be running the hours of a high beam as your low beam set uh, headlight. Oh. I got a movie going on and uh, it just turned on by itself. So I went with these guys, contacted them and asked them about, all right, this is what I have. This is what's going on. This is what I need. Can you supply it and guarantee no dark spots? These guys said yes. Let's open this up. Let's see what we got. Oh, kind of cool. Give you some stickers. That's kind of nice. I probably won't be using them, but that's kind of nice that you did anyways. All right, so there's no plastic on the package. There's no tape. All right, so just open them. All 
All right, so right off the bat, they give you some O-rings over here. These are the reducers. Now, they say that this is for the zero zero the 9006. Now, what, did they, they send me the wrong ones? No. Okay, it's the 9005s. This is probably just for the 9006 to the 9012. And here they are. Oh, yeah. This is spaced apart the way it's supposed to be. It's got a fan in it. And these also are supposed to be made for projection lenses. Now you can kind of see that this is a lot different than what the other ones are. And they're supposed to be installed to where they sit like this inside of your headlight. Not like this, but they sit like this. So I'm going to try them out, see how they work, and bitch about it if they don't. Pretty easy instructions. There is really nothing here that is going to tell you any different than what I've seen on any other uh, LED or HID light lighting systems. So I'm going to try these out tonight, see how they work. And like I said, if they don't work right and I get dark spots, I'll bitch. So now I could put the high beams LEDs where they're supposed to be to replace the halogen ones that are in there now. Does it make sense? I think so. All right, you guys take it easy. Have a good one, and I'll catch up with you later.